YouTube, what's up? Uh, look, I got the Skunk 2 back out. I pulled it out. This is my uh, Skunk 270 mil throttle body with my Skunk 2 Alpha, or is it Pro Series? No, it's a Pro Series intake from 2000. I bought this like two years ago, two years ago, two and a half years ago, 2016, it's about three years ago now. Yeah, it's been a few years. So I was just screwing around. I have my harness over there. I actually undid one of the injectors. Where is it? This one. So, I shot this video already once, but I suck at shooting. I haven't shot videos in a while. So the injectors, as you guys remember, FIC Evo uh, 9, 1200 CC injectors, peak and hold. That's why they're cut, because I needed the plugs from the Accord. You guys saw the harness. I just haven't gotten around to soldering or doing much of anything. Um, got a few things I gotta go over. So we got these, and I was just a... Uh, Talking about how, um, because my brother needs my TPS sensor, I'm going to give him one, mine, and I'll probably go get another one from the junkyard or something when I need this. I don't really need it right now because my motor's chilling and I, I need brakes and wires and all that stuff before I put the engine in. Basically, got to get the car running, the got to get the uh, lights to turn on, stuff like that. Just like little things. It's not going to have a full harness, it's just going to have like lights, headlights, motor harness. Stuff like that, heat, air, all that's gone. All the other sensors and stuff, the ABS is gone. Everything like that, it's all gone. So we don't need this yet because I still need to wire up, finish the brakes, do all kinds of things. Waiting for funds, ma mainly waiting for funds. Uh, so these tend to almost always never be port matched. But I must have been lucky because contrary to most people's belief, look. Look at that. You can, there's no lip, there's no transition, this motor was, oh my gosh, sorry that's so loud. This motor was burning a ton of oil, as you can see it's black in there. Um, I want to pull this throttle body off, it's just, right now it's, uh, these are kind of stuck, I tried to pull them off already. Um, this sensor, need to get this off because we want another one, um, but luckily my stuff's all allen in. So it's fine. My brother's going to have to figure out how he does his because he's not getting my Allen ski, uh, screws. Um, this has been adjusted. So we did adjust it. You do know that con um, they do stick. Mine used to stick all the time. But when you do a little bit of adjusting, make it work, it's going to be fine. Honestly, I'm a realist and I don't expect anything to work 100% every single day. It's an old car, and just because it's a new part doesn't mean that it's going to work perfectly forever. You know, these sticks sometimes, they need to be broken in, you know. You need to adjust it. Make it work for your shit. Some people just put it on there like I did, and I was like, why is it sticking? And my dad's like, did you touch it? Did you adjust it? Did you make sure that it worked? Did you as... Like, basically, he, what I was when I first started working on this car, the Accord, three years ago, I was taught, May, you have to make sure your shit works because nobody else is going to make sure it works for you. So, with that said, we fixed that. Um, I was running tons of vacuum. Had this 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 issue. This thing came off so many times, and this causes an idle surge. This damn loop here. God, I hated that idle surge. Um, I ran my wastegate here. I ran all kinds of all my or blow off valve here. These were looped. I had pretty much set up. You know. Still have the idle motor, everything still works. Um, but I was actually gonna show you. Look, if you probably noticed, one a few ports are kind of meh, and these ports over here are kind of, they're not meh, but they're a little meh, like that. That's pretty meh. Can't like I can put my finger in there. I done messed up. I'll explain that in a second. But because I'm rambling on, um, it's going to racing. This intake manifold came off my H22 about a year. It, it came off in September of uh, 2017 when I was in my in my accident, and this motor was boosted. It saw eight pounds of boost every day, and I thought, well, let's port this. Let's make it a little bit more efficient. Let's make it smoother. The transitions will help get more air into the motor. I never got around to it because I got discouraged because I did that. I was uh, touching the roof up here, and uh, as you can see, it's was like in here, and look at where that lines up with. See? See? It doesn't. So I was trying to get this area to 
and didn't realize I was getting this area more than I was getting up, getting the area up top, this area more than there. Sorry, I moved my camera. Um, so then we uh, port match this one. This is the closest one that's to being done. It's pretty smooth. You're going to be like, why? Well, the air's coming in here and just shooting in here, hitting it, going down. It's going to be turbulent as shit because it's going to be moving at a high, high velocity from the turbo. This little turbo pushed a lot of air for what it was. Probably about 250, 350 CFM. Not a ton of air, but a lot of air for what it is. Um, the new, ma new manifold and turbo setup I want to buy will be able to push probably closer to 650 CFM. Uh, at the same rating so power um look, i don't want to shut i need a haircut so i'm not gonna do that well anyway so 650 cfm we're gonna need a smooth port because we want that air to just come in here as fast as we can so it's just this is the head the valves here this is my fingers the valve boom open open we want as much air as we can get through there as quickly as we can we want to maximize the airflow so we want to get the air to come in here faster we don't what we don't want is we don't want a lot of air a lot of people want tons of cfm we don't want that what we want is the motor to push a ton of air maybe not as much as some other motors but we want it to move more rapidly we want the motor to be pushing as fast as it can basically and to do that we don't want to move a ton of air we want to move it quickly we don't want to move so we can, we're not going to port this out like you can see where the gasket lines up and you can see where because this was on my car for ten, like ten thousand miles um you can see i could easily move this over gasket match the intake and the head to each other and that would be fine but we're not trying to do that we're trying to utilize stock parts like stock flowing the stock ports, I do have a ported head I did, but it, I don't trust it. I mean, I might just keep, I might run it and see what it makes one day, but I have to, I'd have to finish that. But with the other head, the F20B head that's on my motor, the ports are smaller by a, like, a little bit, so the overlap will cause um, turbulence. So that should be good. But we want, we do want to get this port to match this one and this port to match this one they all have to match so i need to do that and i'm only going to probably port match them up to about here and then i might if i ever get around to it cut this but thing about welding aluminum is like look at how dirty this is that's gonna make them perfect welds i'd have to get it like hot tanked and i would want to clean it up real good before i got it welded and cut so that would be another thing is do I want to cut and weld this one because you could also cut and then put a spacer in here make it taller get more air into it um but other than that guys just uh yeah gonna one day get around to this I don't really have a deadline on my project um I don't like to put deadlines kind of I think it's not stupid but it puts a lot of extra unnecessary pressure on people like Unless I was doing something specifically like that Honda challenge or something. Yeah, that's a deadline. But for me, I'm not into that. I, I think taking my time has done me a better job than um, rushing. And every time I rushed, I uh, ended up with a broken car. So I learned a lot. I mean, I think we can get a lot out of this motor, um, my H22 F20B combo. And then eventually we will be putting the other head, the ported one, on the other motor and that's why i was saying like i don't think i'll ever run that motor with the stock block it came off of it's going to be on the, the new block and going to be a completely different animal than the f20b head but anyway guys hopefully you enjoy this video i did a little bit of talking i know i need to finish these i need to get these started i also need to get the uh, snap gauges and then i can make sure that this matches all the way down and we're good so hopefully, in the next few weeks, I think I'm going to JB weld this. I don't know yet. I kind of, like I said, fucked up on the roof here and didn't realize it was going all crazy down here. Um, but I might just YOLO it and run it. I'm going to run these. And those just sit literally, like, right in here. They're not perfect. They do kind of move around. But they should be fine. And as you can see, they'll spray right into the cylinder head. Right at the back of the valve. 
So we need to get tons of air in as fast as we can to match these 1300cc injectors. Because these flow pretty well. Um, they flow pretty damn well. Alright. Well, anyway guys, I'll get to you in the next one. So my brother is going to take the TPS probably to run his car, but that's fine. Like I said, it's not a big deal. We'll go get one for me eventually. Or I can find one on the forum or something, I don't know. But I'll catch you guys later. And hopefully you guys are getting started with your builds, because I know I am.